we're going to be switching chords now. We're going to go to a basic G chord. And in this situation, one of the most common things to do for your right hand for the alternation of bass is to go from your 6th string to the 4th string, rather than 6th string to 5th string. Now you most certainly can do all kinds of things where you're uh, alternating all kinds of different things, but I'm just going to talk about the most kind of generic basic way to play a chord like G, and in this case I'm going to be playing between my 6th string and 4th string. Now even though in this pattern that I'm going to be doing, I'm only playing my 6th, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd, so why am I even bothering putting down my 2nd finger here on the 5th string or even my pinky on the 1st string? Well, a couple of reasons when you're playing fingerstyle stuff is, one, if you accidentally hit a wrong string, well, you want it to be a note that is going to sound good. So. Uh, that's one reason. And another reason is that the strings just kind of sympathetically start vibrating by themselves. And it's better to have them vibrating on a note that's in the chord than vibrating a note that's out of the chord. And also later on, you'll, you might add in you know, alternate bass notes and even throw in that note that's on the first string, do all kinds of different things. But at first, for this basic pattern, you're actually putting two fingers down that you're not playing. And you're also most comfortable probably with a basic G chord uh, rather than, you know, kind of switching things around. So, um, so we're going to build this one up now. So we're going to go from just getting used to going between the 6th string and 4th string. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Two, three, four. And now, just like we did with the C chord, we're going to kind of build this up. We're going to add your first finger on the third string on the end of beat two. So we're going to have this. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. All right? And so do that a whole lot. You know, stop the video here and kind of practice that for a little bit before going on to the next part. So. One, two, and three, four. And then finally, we're going to add that second finger on the second string on the end of beat three. So we add this. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Okay. Now comes the tricky part. And that is, we're going to go from a C chord to a G chord. And kind of the best way to do this is start off with bass notes only. And what I'm going to do is two measures of each chord here. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so just again, kind of getting used to just what your thumb is going to be doing. And then next, add in that index finger on the third string on the and of B2. So it's going to be one, two, and three, four. 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 I threw in an extra bass note there. So, but it's one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And last, adding in that second finger on the second string on the end of beat three. One, two, and three, and four. 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 And 
there are all kinds of things to explore with Travis picking, and it's a very, very cool thing to do. And uh, but that kind of gives you the a starting point of getting your thumb trained to do those alternating bass notes. And you know, you can do this on all kinds of different chords. What happens is uh, when you play on a chord like, like I said, when you're strumming five strings, like on a basic C chord, uh, you're alternating between your fifth and your fourth string most often. And at first, kind of keep your uh, first and second fingers on the second and third strings. And then when you're playing a chord like you know, E minor or G, where you would normally strum six strings, then you're alternating your bass note between the sixth and the fourth strings. And then when you go to a chord like D, what's gonna happen is where you would normally strum four strings there, or like an F chord, then what I want you to do is, at least as a basic idea, kind of shift your fingers up where your first and second fingers are gonna play the first and second strings, and your thumb is gonna alternate the bass notes between the fourth string and the third string. And so, you know, a great thing to do is just pick out some different chord progressions and, and try uh, applying this Travis picking. And so I'll, I'll probably do, do some other lessons coming up here where I go into a little bit more advanced stuff, but that will at least get you started on the idea of Travis picking. Have a good one.